Dogo Benito is back after almost 15 years away from our screens and shows off the next generation's answer to silky ballers in Phil Foden. But with it being away for so long, is it here to stay? And do the next gen even know how this format of football content had people in a chokehold in the mid 2000s? Dogo Benito can be translated from Portuguese to play beautiful, a phrase epitomized by Brazilian ballers of the mid noughties, now legends of the game for that very reason. The elegance and style they played with during their time on the big stage captivated fans at the time and somewhat commercialized a new era for the sport. With Nike having a grasp on basketball over in the States, it was time to capitalize on what seemed like a space within the footballing world, which was yet to be commercialized. Hosted by Eric Cantona, Jogger Benito TV was conceived and sensationalized the beauty of Brazilian football and its influence on the game, which was seen across the whole world of football at the time. The cold, hard style of football of the past had slowly degenerated over the last 40 years of playing. And in the 2000s, you could see a whole new style of football being played within the professional game and outside it. With iconic games like FIFA Street released in 2005, highlighting the game's new focus on flair, style and trickery, as opposed to team play and tactics like they'd seen in the past. This new style was spearheaded by Ronaldinho Gaucho, a Brazilian trickster who essentially mapped out a new route for footballers. Honing in on skills and flair, a style of the game developed in the streets of Brazil, youth futsal and beach football, which was brought to the big stage in Europe. The short, impactful Jogger TV adverts became iconic in the early days of New Internet 2.0. Uploaded onto new platforms like YouTube, I can even remember these videos being Bluetooth to me on my Sony Ericsson back in the day, which shows the hold they had on kids of my generation. Iconic Jogger TV adverts included the Ultimate Team, which showcased the Brazilian national team in the changing room before the game, having a kickabout and showcasing some of the skills some of us can only dream of. Thierry Henry at his coolest, which had Henry take to street football, showing off some of the coolest tricks in the game at the time, which was a chance for young viewers to see and attempt to copy in the playground. Rooney plays Rush Goalie, which was exactly what it said on the tin. A young Wayne Rooney showing off his English brute and playing goalkeeper just for him to run out and skill up the whole other team. And most importantly, a young Ronaldinho, which for me was the most iconic, showing the man himself presenting clips of him when he was younger in his futsal days and how he turned into the player he was. Especially with that iconic headed goal where he's on his hands and knees. This was certainly pulled out on the playground by me back in the day. The last we saw of Jogger TV was about 15 years ago, which saw an upcoming Cristiano Ronaldo and Zlatan Ibrahimovic having a skill off. Two players who themselves were upcoming skillful trailblazers at the time. And with these two now icons coming to the end of their career, it hits home how long ago Jogger TV feels. A distant memory. This was until recently where we saw Phil Foden take to our screens, starring in the newest edition of Jogger TV. In the ad, he puts on his Nike Air Max 95s and hits the crossbar multiple times without the ball touching the floor. This itself references the most iconic Jogger TV advert from 2006, which showed Ronaldinho trying on his new boots and hitting the crossbar in this manner. But why? Well, these trainers put on by Phil weren't in fact football boots, but the upcoming Nike collab with the upcoming street brand Cortez. The shoes themselves are Nike Air Max 95s fives or 110s as they're known to the people. A reference to the price they were at the time, but obviously right now they're definitely not. So we'll call them 95s. Are a shoe of the people released in 95 and in fact styled by iconic Brazilian ballers in the noughties. Cortez as a brand is always on the pulse with cultural references. A major reason why I always support the brand, mainly because of the brand's creator Clint419. A young Nigerian London based fashion designer, but more importantly a man of the people. He gives the people what they don't know they need through style based references from fashion and culture during the time we all grew up. This hits home with myself and plenty of other people my age as he seems to pick out the best of the best when it comes to cultural references from the past. And this was especially noticed in the latest advert for the new shoe. It was as if the advert represented the best of Nike adverts from the past 20 years. Whilst climbing into my brain and picking out some of the most nostalgic references, Jogger TV was presented within the three minute advert and starred the young English baller Phil Foden. Why Phil? Perhaps he represents the best of young English talent for the most successful team in England right now, much like the players who starred in the ads of the past, don't know how we'll look back at Phil's career in the future, but I can only imagine it's going to be shiny. And of course, with the brand being English based, it's probably best to stick with an upcoming English talent, but the brand itself does show its inclusivity to all young ballers who represent it. With another advert for the shoe, starring Eduardo Camavinga hitting the crossbar in the shoes. Of course, this was a special advert for an upcoming street brand collaboration, which as I said, often picks out culturally relevant advertising techniques to show off the brand. So it 
leaves us with the question as to whether we'll see Jogger TV return without Cortez's influence. Honestly, I think they'd be stupid not to. We see how consistently Nike puts out iconic adverts in the past decade, with ads such as Winner Stays On, The Switch, and the latest Football Verse advert. But for the sake of street football everywhere, in this post-efficient era of football with Ronaldo and Messi retiring, we might deserve a renaissance flair era of football. And with the abundance of silky young ballers coming through at the moment, it only makes sense. And we've seen Eric Cantona star in football-based adverts as recently as Christmas, so I can certainly see him reprising his role as the host. That could actually make it funnier. At the end of the day, it's not something we deserve, it's something we need. It's football history. I love football.